not knowing, of course, kept the hope alive. So knowing removes any chance that we'll get him back. For the past seven years, Judy and Les Rugg have looked twice at every face they passed that resembled their son, but not anymore. You realize that the next time you're driving down the street and you go to look at somebody, you're like, oh wait, that, that can't be him. That's not even a possibility anymore. DNA tests confirm that remains found at Lake Livingston back in 2020 as Polk County Sheriff's deputies were looking for stolen property are those of Kyle Rugg. The sheriff says he was murdered. In a way of starting all over again. And uh, yes. it's a whole new process. Kyle Rugg went fishing with friends on March 4th, 2015. He had supposedly attended a party in the area the night before and stayed around to go fishing the next morning, the morning of March 4th. The accounts of what happened when he arrived at the lake are unusual and information we only know from a friend Kyle was meeting that day. Kyle left the lake area deciding not to fish after all, according to the friend, and he drove off and was never seen again. In January of 2020, Polk County law enforcement officials found human remains on March 4th, 2022. It was announced those remains were finally identified as belonging to Kyle Rugg, seven years after he disappeared. The search for Kyle is over, but the hunt for his killers is just beginning. Judy Rugg says someone knows something about her son's murder, and she wants the person responsible to come forward. The family, along with the Texas Rangers, the Harris and Polk County Sheriff's Office, are not giving up on justice in this case. And he wore his heart on his sleeve. His name is Kyle Rugg, and he was loved by many. He was a son, a brother, uh, a nephew, an uncle. Seven years ago today, the 20-year-old disappeared from the Polk County area after fishing with friends. In 2020, the sheriff's office discovered his remains in a wooded area. Losing someone is always, always difficult. Losing a loved one, like someone dying. But when they're missing, it adds that extra piece because you just continue grieving. Kyle's death is a mystery, but his mother Judy says someone knows what happened. She says he trusted and loved everybody and considered his group of friends family. You may not think that what you know is important. You may not think that um, seeing him a couple days before he went missing is important or that you talk to him for a few minutes the night before or that morning. For now, the family says they will continue to share Kyle's story. He was just full of life and we will miss that smile forever. It's with great sadness that I bring you this update today. When we covered Kyle's missing person case back in November of 2021 on the podcast, we knew the potential for foul play was fairly high. But until we know for sure, there is always hope. Unfortunately, the ending would not be what we all wanted for Kyle. Let me recap quickly what happened leading up to Kyle's disappearance. In 2015, Kyle Thomas Rugg was a 20-year-old young man living in Katy, Texas. He was making plans to go to welding school soon and had recently started living with his friend Mike in his apartment. Kyle was very close to his siblings and his cousins, and his whole extended family loved him, saying he was soft-spoken and he was really good with the younger kids in the family. On March 3rd, 2015, Kyle and Mike attended a party at a Motel 6. There are some reports that say the party was in the Lake Livingston area and some that say it was in the Katy area, which 
is actually kind of an important detail when it comes to the investigation of the case. But what I know for sure is Kyle did attend a party that night. The next day, March 4th, Kyle and Mike had plans to go to Lake Livingston for a fishing trip. Mike would drive over to the lake alone and meet up with Kyle there later. But when Kyle showed up, he was with two other new friends that he had allegedly or possibly made at that party. Mike said he didn't know who these people were. Kyle wouldn't stay to go fishing with Mike, instead choosing to leave the area with his two new friends, telling Mike they were going to head back to the apartment in Katy. But when Mike arrived at the apartment later that night, Kyle's car was not there, and Kyle Rugg would not be seen or heard from again. Kyle was born May 27th, 1994, to parents Les and Judy Rugg. He grew up in a seemingly happy family in Katy, Texas. He loved animals, especially dogs, and really enjoyed being part of the FFA, the Future Farmers of America. He was also really into motorsports like dirt bikes and car races, and he loved watching movies, including his absolute favorite, the Fast and Furious series. His family, of course, was devastated and sick with worry when they learned that Kyle has disappeared. But the search for Kyle was tough because nobody was really talking and no one quite knew where to even search for him or who was even telling the truth when those people did speak up. It seemed that law enforcement possibly could confirm that he attended a party on the night of March 3rd, but beyond that, it's not clear what was confirmed as fact. All that law enforcement had to go on was really the word of the one friend. Texas EquiSearch, an organization out of Texas dedicated to searching and finding missing persons, has been active on this case from the beginning, brought in to help at the request of the sheriff's department. There were many, many searches conducted by law enforcement, family, and the volunteers of EquiSearch, but there was never any sign of Kyle. I do want to take a minute and encourage you to check out Texas EquiSearch and the extraordinary work they do, especially if you're not familiar with them. I will link them, of course, in the description. And any funds raised for Kyle's case will be donated back to Texas EquiSearch. On January 21st, 2020, human remains were found by law enforcement in a wooded area in Polk County. They were searching for stolen property, working a completely different case. And this wasn't even a search for a person at the time. The remains were sent over to the University of North Texas, specifically the Center for Human Identification. Fast forward to the present day, over two years later, those remains were positively identified to be Kyle Ruggs. The confirmation and announcement came on March 4th, 2022, exactly seven years to the day that Kyle had disappeared. What's really hopeful in this case is that they were able to identify Kyle through very recent DNA technology advancements, which really gives hope to a lot of other cases in the thousands of Jane Doe's and John Doe's that are out there across the world. Kyle's mother, Judy, said they actually learned of the confirmation of identity just before the anniversary date, and they decided to wait until March 4th to make the official announcement public. Sheriff Byron Lyons has said that they are officially opening up the case now as a homicide investigation. We don't have any details as to how they came to that conclusion, that his death is the result of a homicide, but they have said... It is classified as a homicide, and they are now on the hunt for the killer or killers. A reward of $25,000 is in place for any information that leads authorities to Kyle's killer or killers. While Kyle has been found and can finally be brought home and put to rest, the search for answers here continues. Kyle Rugg deserves justice. So it seems... We still spread awareness of Kyle's case. We still share his name. We just changed the hashtag now from bring Kyle home to justice for Kyle. 
Our thoughts and prayers go out to Kyle's family and friends. I'm sure there is some sense of relief knowing that they have answers and that they can bring Kyle home properly, but they are grieving the loss of a loved one. A loved one who was taken from them way too soon. Please share Kyle's story. Someone knows something.